Hello, and on behalf of Google Cloud, I'd like to welcome you to the Google for Games Developer Summit. In today's keynote, I'll be talking about gaming in a post-COVID world. I'm Rob Martin, Chief Architect for Gaming at Google Cloud. As you may know, Google Cloud runs many of the world's largest and most popular games. Let's take a look at four key capabilities provided by Google Cloud that power these worldwide entertainment experiences. First, game developers have come to rely on the vast reach of Google Cloud's globally distributed data centers and fiber optic network. Our 25 regions and almost 150 network edge points of presence ensure truly world-class experiences to gamers all around the world. As you know, Google is the world's largest data processor. And at Google Cloud, we provide the same capability to store petabytes of data and query trillions of rows of data every day to our customers, including game developers around the world. The ability to process data at planet scale combined with Google's AI ML solutions enables game developers to unlock insights, offer recommendations, and power predictions at massive scale to truly personalize gameplay experiences. As you can imagine, all these online capabilities require massive amounts of infrastructure. Many game developers are increasingly concerned about the carbon emissions generated by these huge online workloads. But with Google Cloud, there's no need to worry. Google Cloud is the only cloud provider which has been carbon neutral since 2007 and has been running on 100% renewable energy since 2017. So with these planet scale capabilities at their fingertips, our customers have been building truly awesome worldwide entertainment experiences. It's been fantastic to see the progress. But then in 2020, it all changed. COVID hit. The world went into lockdown. Social distancing became a must. What would it all mean for the gaming industry? As the world sheltered in place and went into lockdown, people turned to games for community. Gaming experienced tremendous growth as players spent more time online playing and socializing. Cross-platforms surged as families downloaded games onto any device that would run them. And viewership of gaming content as streaming experienced record-breaking levels. And so the question I get asked all the time is, will this last once the world goes back to normal? As we looked into the answer to that question, we noticed some really interesting trends. COVID had accelerated some fundamental changes to the very definition of who gamers are. Gaming through COVID is becoming more diverse and more casual. We're moving beyond the traditional definition of a gamer to mainstream and family audiences. Just look at these growth metrics. All segments in gaming have experienced growth, but these segments are growing even faster than gaming in general. Women, married couples, and even grandparents are outpacing the growth in gaming by substantial margins. But it's not just the types of gamers that are diversifying. Emerging geos in places like the Middle East and APAC are joining the fun and outpacing the growth of gaming in general. So the question then becomes, what can game developers do to continue to expand these growth trends post-COVID? With all these changes, we at Google Cloud believe it's important to have a holistic strategy for continued expansion in a post-COVID world. Game developers need to keep new gamers engaged and retain them. Developers need to understand the types of content these new audiences desire and how they prefer to be monetized. 
and developers need to empower creatives and developers to continue to create compelling content wherever they want to work. And underlying it all, you need a secure foundation to protect your players and your IP. So let's talk about engagement first. One of the reasons developers love to work with Google is we have an incredible understanding of global preferences and interests. And the data from Google search on gaming couldn't be more clear. Today's gamers want multiplayer, rich social and competitive experiences. Google Cloud provides game developers with two key capabilities for multiplayer gaming. Matchmaking is more important than ever with increasingly diverse players and widely distributed geographies. Game servers power those competitive multiplayer matches your players crave. And with players all around the world, you need a robust solution for managing your global fleet. OpenMatch and Google Cloud game servers provide the power you need for the world's largest multiplayer experiences. Now, while it's true that many players want to compete, there's a growing class of players that want to create, to build and express themselves in persistent worlds. For these players, I'm proud to announce a new solution called OpenSaves, developed in partnership with 2K Games. OpenSaves puts the power of Google's massively scalable storage at the fingertips of persistent world developers. Now, while these open source technologies allow your developers to build super engaging experiences, you need the power of Google Cloud's private fiber optic network unique to Google Cloud for truly global reach. We're continuing to expand our footprint, having recently added regions and gaming hotspots like Seoul and Jakarta, with more coming in places like Doha and Santiago. But as you engage and reach these new players, it's more important than ever to protect against disruptions like DDoS attacks. Imagine being a first time gamer who's just about to rack up your first hard earned win and the server is taken offline by a DDoS attack. That's a real threat to retention of new gamers who aren't used to these types of disruptions, which are on the rise. Google, as part of its daily operations, fends off the largest DDoS attacks in the world. And the good news is that we're expanding that protection to include online gaming services. Cloud Armor, our DDoS mitigation service that runs at Google's network edge, is adding support for gaming-friendly protocols, including UDP, so you can protect all of your online services, including game servers. And we're enhancing the service to include a response team and billing protection. Now I've talked about all the ways that you can engage and connect with your players, and there's no better example than Apex Legends, which scaled from launch to 50 million unique players in just one month on Google Cloud. We'd love to work with you to launch your next global hit. So now let's talk about understanding your audience more deeply and how Google Cloud can help here. It's clear from our data that many of the gamers that have joined the fold intend to stay. And the great news is that these new gamers spend at increasingly high rates. So it's critical to understand how to retain and grow these new audiences. With these new gamers' preferences for free-to-play and games as a service, it's critical to capture data about player experience at a very fine grain of detail. Today's top performing games generate hundreds of millions or billions of rows of data every single day. To capture all of this data at scale, Google Cloud provides BigQuery, a serverless data warehouse that can effortlessly scale to these levels. BigQuery is intuitive for developers because it's based on industry standard SQL. But BigQuery goes far beyond simply allowing for data queries with SQL. With BigQuery ML, 
game developers can build and deploy powerful machine learning models without ever leaving SQL. So BigQuery provides the capability to capture and process player experience data at scale, but the key for your creatives, producers, your marketing team, live ops and executives, is to be able to quickly extract insights from all of this data. How is our game performing in live operations? What are the results of our latest A-B test? How is churn and retention looking? With Looker, these types of insights are easy for your whole organization to access. So with Looker and BigQuery, you have an end-to-end -end platform for data and insights. But the data also reveals that there's a disturbing trend of disruptive behavior increasing in games. Harassment, cheating, toxicity. While seasoned players might be somewhat immune from this behavior, it presents a substantial retention risk for new, more casual gamers who just discovered your game. Google Cloud is hard at work on an AI ML-based solution to this problem. Using data collected from chat logs and in-game telemetry, machine learning models can identify and flag disruptive behavior. With Google Cloud scale ML ops and infrastructure, these decisions can happen in seconds instead of hours or days. We'd love to further explore the work we're doing to protect players in this area with your team. And so with King, we have a truly lighthouse example of capturing data at scale and utilizing the insights to improve player experience. 70 billion events processed every single day on behalf of 270 million players per month. Truly incredible numbers. And so finally, let's talk about your developers and creatives and how Google Cloud can help with your game development process. We've talked a lot about opportunity and growth in gaming, but the situation for creatives and developers has been really challenging during COVID. I've talked to developers who had to drive workstations in trucks to their developers' homes to keep the game development process going. I've talked to other developers who can't buy GPUs and have rooms full of developer workstations that they can't complete building. At a time when the demand for content is surging, this creates a really tough problem for the industry. Now I've been asked, you know, is it possible to box up a game studio and deliver it remotely via streaming to any device in the world? That's exactly what we've been working on with multiple global studios. Virtual Studio deploys the critical infrastructure of a game studio, including storage, version control, and even the developer workstations themselves in the cloud, and delivers this content via streaming over Google's private and secure fiber optic network. This mitigates the need for expensive custom-built desktops and laptops and allows you to source the best talent wherever you can find it in the world, even in tax-advantaged geos. Protection of IP with a, a virtual studio is incredibly important, and Google's entire virtual studio solution is protected by the same layered methodology used to host sensitive financial services and healthcare data. This includes purpose-built secure hardware, encryption by default, multi-factor authentication, and that secure private network for delivery. Epic Games is utilizing Google's Virtual Studio solution to train and reskill visual professionals around the world in Unreal Engine to unlock the value of the state-of-the-art 3D game engine more broadly in gaming but also across other verticals. And so with Virtual Studio, you've unlocked the ability for your creatives and developers to continue building amazing content remotely, 
but COVID has also massively ramped up the need for your teams to collaborate virtually. Activision Blizzard is leveraging the power of Google Workspace, Mail, Chat, Docs, and Hangouts to enable their globally distributed teams to seamlessly collaborate through COVID and beyond. So in summary, COVID has been a huge challenge for the world, but gaming has been a bright light for many during this difficult time. As an industry, we've embraced our role in offering a safe place for people to socialize and have fun. We've had to adapt and learn to operate in new ways and have made many new friends and fans along the way. If we continue to extend what we've learned in a post-COVID world, the future looks bright for gaming. So in today's talk, I've emphasized the many ways that Google Cloud can help, but there's one more way that we can help, and that's to bring together and integrate all of the value game developers get from Google's many different product areas. We'd love to chat more with you about One Google Solutions. We're proud of the great work we're doing together with our partners at top publishers and studios around the world, and we look forward to connecting with you. To learn more about the solutions we discussed today, check us out on the web and on GitHub. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the conference.